this is the day before we're gonna ship them. Uh, the steers. And I've got that big walnut tree there roped off where they can have it. They've got two small trees up there that'll be pretty good for afternoon shade. I'm hoping they'll all be grouped up underneath it in the morning. But if not, this fence goes up over the hill and then back to the pond. Got the mineral in this field. It's just a pretty small strip. It'll last them all day, but I can, I can get them up pretty easy from here, I think. It's supposed to be 95 tomorrow. Heat index of like 110 or some ridiculous number. They're looking pretty good. Some of them's pretty woolly, but there's been a lot of woolly calves going through the cell barn, I guess, because the spring was so cool. It's just now starting to get hot. But they're filling out. I think they'll weigh out good. Trying to find those heifers. That's the big one that we're gonna kill right there, that 05 slick one. That one right there. That's a heifer that we're gonna ship because she's got a lamp and she may make hamburger, but I think she'll just start limping as summer goes on. She just won't gain enough weight. To... I'll just take my dock on her and move on with life. But yeah, they're looking pretty good. And uh, this is a little field that I'll give them tomorrow morning, right at daylight. And it's uh, it only goes over to that wood post right there. Goes into the corral. I've got the gates open on the corral. A lot of grass in there, a lot of Johnson grass. As soon as one of them finds that Johnson grass, they'll start moving and the rest of them will go in there. That's the plan. I got an extra reel here. I'll roll this one back, let them in, roll it back out. I'll hook that extra reel right here at the corner of this gate back up to this other fence and just kind of swing it in an arc around to that wood post. And that should crowd them right into the crowd them right into the corral, the ones that haven't already went in there. So trailer is supposed to be here at seven. Um, I'll crowd them all into the actual corral, not this barbed wire pen, but he'll come off that hill there. I'll have him park up the hill. That way the, the trailer noises and truck don't spook them. After I get them caught, I'll call him and he'll run right down the hill. And, Hopefully I can get in the gate again this year. I need to make a double gate there, redo that. But it'll work again this year. And uh, he'll back in, we'll load them. There's 18 of them that we're gonna sell. The other two we're gonna put in the freezer. And uh, hopefully next year we'll have about 50 of them to sell. And that'll be better. We'll actually start making some money around here. Anyways, that's what, that's what it's going to look like when the calves come off of it. It'll sit here all summer, fall, and this clover. Everything will go to seed. It'll be ready for stockpile and put fresh calves on it in January.